Hello everybody and welcome to another review. In today's video, I'm taking a look at something a little bit different. Uh, we've got another statue from the Royal Solenga store. Uh, you may remember that I bought my son a Venom. I believe it was last year, I think it was. Now, uh, we don't have many statues, etc., in our household, uh, but uh, we really like the Royal Solenga range. They're not your average kind of statue. Uh, beautiful, beautiful products. Uh, and in today's video, we're taking a look at their X-Men Wolverine product. As you can see, it is a pretty darn hefty box. Now, you have to bear in mind that these are expensive. These are not cheap, but um, me and my wife see these as an investment. They are absolutely gorgeous, solid pieces. So let's crack this open and take a look. And here we have him out of his foam prison. Now, each of these statues is numbered. These are limited releases and as you can see here we have a sentinel head as the base and then wolverine done beautifully uh, standing on top of that sentinel he is extremely heavy and my poor little rotation base is really struggling to turn him around but this is absolutely beautiful uh, it's a big solid lump of metal and it really does look outstanding. It's done very differently to what we got with Venom, but uh, this is a truly, truly beautiful piece. Uh, like I said, expensive, but uh, we see it as an investment piece. Uh, no different to something you would get from like Sideshow or something as a statue, but without a shadow of a doubt, one heavy lump of a mutant just loving the detail on that i mean look at the face that is crazy uh, the base really high levels of detailing the adamantium claws oh, the thick done an outstanding job genuinely blown away by this piece and to give you an idea of how he fares scale-wise, there he is with the Venom that we got to see. It's a very different uh, texture and look. Uh, I actually prefer how Wolverine's come out, but then again, Wolverine was a lot more expensive. Uh, you kind of pay for all that extra detailing and the kind of texture that we got going on. And that's a Marvel Legends <coughs> bootleg. Uh, Wolverine there as well to give you an idea. So he's a good... Uh, I'd say he's a good kind of eight inch figure, if not slightly bigger. And then of course we get that Sentinel base as well, but this is a remarkably nice looking piece. I'm thinking he's wearing his older kind of brown suit, isn't it? I think that's what the one he's wearing. But yeah, it's pieces like this that I just stand in awe and think how on earth do they do it? It's uh, truly incredible. Uh, not for everybody. Uh, but I just wanted to share it with you all uh, because it's something that uh, we have in our collection that's a little bit different to what most people uh, see as a normal kind of action figure collector. It's a small audience, but I think those of us who do collect these pieces, uh, I have more than one now, so that makes me a collector of them, right? <laughs> uh, we are truly happy. I will include a link where these can be purchased. Uh, these ones... Um, from the Royal Solenga in Malaysia. But there are various different Royal Solengas uh, positioned around the world. I'll include the link in the description below. And until next time, from myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thanks for watching and goodbye.